my name is Helen Watts. I'm 50 years old and I've suffered with bladder issues for the last 24 years. My bladder issues started not too long after my youngest child was born. I started noticing problems when I was lifting things, anything that put pressure onto the abdomen, so coughing, laughing, sneezing. There's very little warning to prepare to go to a toilet. I have been caught out, if you like, in a supermarket, in a restaurant. I've literally had to go to the nearest charity shop to buy a set of clothes that I could change into. Going anywhere is normally about planning. Going to the library, it will be a telephone call to the library to make sure their toilet is actually open on that day. Travelling on a bus has largely become impossible. Going on holidays, we would perhaps only really go away for two or three days. Even working has become difficult. It had a huge impact in terms of confidence. You're forever trying to manage it. Do you smell? Are your clothes clean? I found I couldn't speak to family or friends for a long, long time, and it was only when I was having treatment for a tennis elbow with a physiotherapist that we got to know each other a little bit and got talking. In terms of my relationship with my husband, he's very supportive. It was almost up to the point of needing surgery that we actually sat down to talk about the impact it was having. I found the products on the market not so accessible to me at the time. Had I found the appropriate products, I think my journey might have been quite different. I've been trialling one or two products. I've found they're a lot more discreet, a lot easier to wear. I have a grandchild, love to go out and play with him, wear a pair of jeans. There's no worries about whether other people can see it. I think using always discreet is going to have a very positive impact in the future. I feel a lot more confident in the clothes I'm wearing, a lot more confident just being out and about. Get on board with a good physiotherapist, somebody who specialises in pelvic floor issues um, and get the right treatment in that, that sense. Make sure you have good communications with your doctor, with your employer, with your family and friends. Communication really is the key. Make sure you are prepared so that you can be in control and making sure you have what you need with you so you're not caught out in a situation. It's true to say that one of the biggest myths that exist is that this is something which only happens to older people, to older women. That's not the case at all. It's across the board, it's from young women all the way through the age groups and for a variety of reasons too. It's important that women can share their stories, that can share their experience and only by learning can we actually change some of the, the taboos that exist.